Oh, uh, hello, VC. We just got back from Goodwill. We got a great haul. And uh, where's Steve? Well, Steve decided he doesn't want to do videos anymore. So I didn't say that. Back. I said I just did a video yesterday, and I didn't want to do a video right away because of the YouTube algorithm. If you don't keep a consistent schedule, and either you do too much or too little, nobody's going to watch it. And nobody's going to watch this video today because I did a video yesterday. But I've heard you say screw the YouTube algorithm before. You're right. I don't really care. Ha! Okay. okay. Hold on. Let me, get a, let me tell you what's going on. All right? So, story time with Steve. Hi, guys. As you guys might know, in our local Goodwill, and your Goodwill probably, too, has colored tags. If someone's been there like a month or so, they'll put a colored tag on it, and that whole week it's half off, which means $2 records are $1. Then on Sunday, for like one day, they have all those things they put for a dollar just to try to clear them out of the store, which for us is cool because on Sunday it starts the new tag, color which would make the, those records a dollar and then the ones from the previous week are still a dollar so i've got twice the ability of getting two dollar records which they normally are for a dollar well they started something new um that wasn't working so well so they have a new thing called bags this is what they're doing you get a paper bag whatever you can fill in it with that colored tag is 10 bucks no matter how much you can throw in it, if you can fit in the bag, it's 10 bucks. So everything you're going to see here, we got for $10. You want value vinyl and value music? This is how you get it. This is how I'm going to start filling my library. So if you guys like this episode and you want me every paycheck to do an episode of What's in the Bag? I'd be glad to show you all the crap I threw in the bag for 10 bucks. Now, one thing on here. I did spend, I got my $20 budget for music. I had already spent a little bit of it beforehand. And so I did have $10. So I didn't get two bags worth. The reason I wanted to say that is, is that uh, this is going to Steve Carlson. If you're watching this, I saw a pretty awesome Cramps CD that was 6 bucks. That was the price on it. It wasn't color tagged or anything. And he said, it's an awesome deal. There's no way that should be 6 bucks. You should grab it. But I had a choice of either getting this bag full of stuff or that cramp CD, I had to let it go behind. And so, But Mrs. Vivi did say that if you didn't have it and you wanted it, she was going to buy it and ship it to you. But you said you already had it, so you missed out on that one. But now we're going to play. These are the ones that weren't part of the bag that I got. Yes. Mommy got these. Mrs. Vivi did. These ones were yellow. See the yellow tags? These were just half off. But some of these were worth getting for half off. So... They weren't part of the what's in the bag. But we'll show you what else I got to add to the Value Vinyl Random Library. First one. I'm a Barbie girl in my Barbie world. Yeah, it was four bucks, but two dollars. That's the Value Vinyl budget, two bucks and under. For a CD of Aqua, I'll do it. I got a couple filter albums. Do not have this one. Still in the shrink sealed, two bucks. Filter. Mama likes I Destiny's do. Child. Um, Beyonce, Destiny's Child. Uh, she previously has writings on the wall. This is their album after that. And uh, it was only $1.50. That's pretty cool, right? And uh, for all you Christian rock likers and uh, Christians out there, uh, as you know, I like Christian music. Not a Christian, but I don't care who you are or what you listen to. The song Flood by Jars of Clay is a banger. That was a great hit back in the day. Getting a copy of that for only a dollar? <laughs> yeah. Flood's a great song. Then, some really great ones. These ones are a buck fifty each. Two, yes, count them two different bare naked ladies that I don't have. That's right. This one is Born on a Pirate Ship. And this one is Maybe You Should Drive. Um, I'd love to find Gordon on CD, but hey. Bare Naked Ladies, $1.50 each. So those ones we got for half off. Oh, yeah, and one more. I did pay the full two price for Al Hurt that I didn't have in my collection. This is Horn of Plenty with the Billy May Orchestra. It's kind of funny. He kind of looks like Billy May. I kind of look like Billy Mays. And I don't think that Billy Mays is the same. Uh... But wait, there's more. Okay. All right. 
Now we're going to show you all now the stuff we got. Stuff. Now we can maybe do the stuff that's not music related first. That's what I was doing. Okay. All the tags that were read, stick in the bag, you get for 10 bucks. I have all the books of the His Dark Material series, except for book two, The Subtle Knife. If for you guys might be familiar, that's The Golden Compass. It was made into a movie, also a TV series. I haven't read the, all the books because I was missing one. Got that for practically nothing. Brandon Sanderson. If you're not familiar, uh, the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, which is now being made into a TV series. Uh, his last couple books after he died was co-penned and filled in by Brandon Sanderson. And so this is a nice tour book. I wanted to read some of his because I kind of like those last two books of the Wheel of Time. They were all right. So got that for next to nothing. Mrs. VV wanted Judy Bloom, so we got through that in the bag. For Bree's reading pleasure. Stop crinkling so much. Beast Quest Amulet of Avantia. Here is a uh, Jigsaw Jones's The Case of the Spooky Sleepover. And uh, one of the 39 Clues books. I don't know. It was a young adult reading. Thought Bree might want to check it out. Again, there was a hole at the top of the bag. I just threw these in there. So for literally, these books were all free. I'd already gotten all I wanted and had room in the bag. Free books. All right. Hold now, on. You could have just left them in the bag and pulled them out then. Gee. No, because the other non-music stuff was all the way at the bottom. Oh, okay. So hmm. that is the books we got. Copy on DVD of Nacho Libre with my brother Jack. Gotta have that. Whether Brie wants them or not, again, these DVDs were also a whole top of the bag. So these were all free. Strawberry Shortcake Fun Under the Sun. I'm never gonna watch that. Uh, Strawberry Shortcake Berry Tales. I'm not gonna watch that one either. I'll probably watch it. And Strawberry Shortcake Berry Big Help. Strawberry Shortcake says cool. Especially that animated series. Yeah. It's actually that's awesome. awesome. All right. Also, the whole season two of Dexter for practically free, realistically. Because I want to make Brie poop her pants, I'm going to force her to watch The Ring. We talked about watching this over at Halloween. She said, hell no, that girl got on the TV spooky and I'm going to give me nightmares. <laughs> Got a couple Barbies. We got Magic of the Rainbow and The Princess and the Pauper. I'm not going to watch those. I'm going to watch those. Disney, My Friends, Tigger and Pooh, The Hundred Acre Wood Hunt. Haunt. Um, I just got this because Hugh Grant and Drew Barrymore. I love Drew Barrymore. Music and lyrics. Again, not paying for it. One of the Land Before Time movies. I grew up watching those. Loved them. This is Through the Eyes of a Spirit Tale. Don't know where this lies in the series, but good stuff. Brie will watch that. And uh, I'll save this one for last. Lego Movie. For nothing? Yeah, I'll take that. Winx, The Secret of the Lost Kingdom Movie. That's girly. She'll, Brie will watch that. Is that a multiple disc set? That's heavy. Uh, it's the deluxe edition of Daredevil. Again, filled the whole top of the bag, so these cost me nothing. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger and Musical 2. This is Sparta! Alright, and then finally, me and Brie actually watched a YouTube video of one of her favorite YouTubers making fun of this. He has a series where uh, he goes to the cheap knockoff crap movies and she saw this episode and goes, I'll never find it. But if I ever see it, I would love to see it because it looks so stupid. And uh, it's a movie called Ratatouille, which is a very, very, very bad ripoff of Ratatouille. And uh, she's going to flip her lid when she sees this. She's going to love it. So that's all the free books and DVDs I got from the bag. Here's what I'm actually paying for. The Old Rugged Cross, Wayne Newton. And of course, you know, Wayne Newton. I do have a copy of it, but I want this one look like an upgrade, possibly. Daddy, Don't You Walk Too Fast. Don Ho's Tiny Bubbles. I, again, I might have it, but just in case, it might be an upgrade. The Golden Vibes or Orchestra with Lionel Hampton. Movies That Make Me Cry, The Lennon Sisters, still in the shrink. Here's the best thing. 
in the bag for practically nothing. A Boots Randolph, an old one I don't have. And it does have Yakety Sax on there. <laughs> Country and Western Hits, Volume 12. A sound-alike album. And, uh, just in case, it's still in the shrink, a copy of Herb Alpert's very first uh, record, The Lonely Bull. If uh, it's not as good as the one I got or better, then I'll uh, give it to Brie, because she likes Herb Alpert, too. All those records in a bag, along with everything else, for 10 bucks. 10 records, they're a buck a piece. Could have been that. And now, we go to the CD section. You shouldn't have. You got me too. Oh, did I get you too? Ah. Celtic Twilight on CD. Bunch of Celtic stuff. So. I didn't know you got me. And Celtic Voices. So you want... I didn't really get them for you, but if you want them, that's, I know you do listen to that. You yes, love listening to I Celtic stuff. Celtic. So It's very close to medieval. Again, 10 bucks for everything. Still bad. Soul Asylum. Come on now, guys. I'm sure you guys all know the songs on here. I mean, this has got all their good stuff on there. But, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway, Soul Asylum. Big in the 90s. Um, Dave Matthews Band. Um, don't know who they are, but I took all the red sticker CDs, no matter who they were. This is No Mercy. Don't know. Taproot, welcome. That's actually going to be a good one. Pen Advisor Explicit Lyrics. I believe they're a metal band. Um, Flush Moo Yang, uh, Smash Mouth. I have this, but I know Brie likes, uh, you know, All Star. This one's got Walking on the Sun. So I've got that for her. I'll put that aside for the herd pile. Inca Sun, Music and Dances of the Andes Mountains. Come on, right? Michael Buble, Let It Snow. I got Buble. I don't have a Christmas one there like that. And uh, we already have this, but <laughs> it didn't cost me anything more just to throw it in the bag forever your girl, so uh, get that to Brie, maybe. Yeah. The Last Kiss, a motion, original motion picture soundtrack. And uh, Lori Morgan, no. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's Lori Morgan, Watch Me. Okay, there's that one. Original motion picture soundtrack to the movie Tomb Raider. Ray Bolts, The Concert of a Lifetime. If you guys know who he is or anything about him, let me know in the comments. Plans from Death Cab for Cutie. Motion soundtrack to the movie French Kiss. Toby Keith, Shock and Y'all. Yeah, I don't get much right is this one got, what's this one got on it? Uh, I don't know. Well, it has the Talapan song on there. I know there's that little time of, you know, stick my boot in your ass kind of a thing, so didn't know if that was that one. Um, Carmen! Hopefully he's not rapping on this one, but, you know, it's Carmen. Greatest Christmas Hits. Again, not paying anything hardly for these. Lover's Rock by Sade. That's actually a great one. I'd like to have that on vinyl something, maybe. Um, no cover on it, but hey, I can print a, print a cover. It's all it needs. Soundtrack to Annie. The motion picture. It's a hard knock of life. Savage Garden. Is this the one that has... Uh, let me see what's on here. Truly Madly Deeply is on there. Cool. Still in the shrink. Not open. Mark Anthony. Uh, Mandad, Mindad, I don't know if it's probably Spanish, but Mark Anthony, Sinatra reprised The Good Years, and, and that one's, I'm sure it's still in there, and the one that I like the best out of here, it had four bucks on it, you guys remember, it's heavier though, yeah, won't you cuckoo cannonball? Bucket, 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 bucket. Nope, it's just the one CD. Huh. But the Breeders. Weird. With cannonballs on there. So, yeah. All these CDs, all those DVDs, all those books, all those records, 10 bucks. Goodwill. So, just a little short video to show you guys what we got to add to the Random Radio Library. And uh, if you guys want to 
see what we get next check because we're going to try to go on a Monday first thing uh, before I go to work and sneak in and get first dibs. Let me know. Anything you want to add? All music lives matter. All media lives matter. See, she's so behaved. She didn't even hit me this episode. <laughs> I should have saw that coming. And uh, thanks a lot to you jerks in the comments. Uh, uh telling her to hit me. Not a single person def defended me. No one did. Everyone said, "Who are you doing? Who, who, who? Ha 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 ha! It's so funny." <laughs> Blah.